Tambo, 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 tambo. ¿A dónde está mi tambo? ¿A dónde está mi tambo? ¿A dónde está mi tambo? Welcome back to World Drum Club, everyone. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher. And in this lesson, I'm going to be talking about and showing you how you can produce melodic and harmonic conga tunings for, for example, for accompaniment with your voice to sing over the congas as a, uh, a, a melodic instrument or harmonic instrument to get a kind of uh, tonality happening, all right, like I just did. And I'll talk about that song. And then also, if you want to play with other instruments, like the guitar, ukulele, or like you've seen me done in the past, uh, flute, wind instruments, any kind of melodic or harmonic instrument, you can do all of this together with these simple strategies. All right, so let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn to tune the drums in what we would call a chord. So I know this is basic remedial for some of you, but if you're, if you're not sure what that means, a chord is basically a set of notes, of pitches, that produce um, often what we call a triad uh, or a chord. You've heard those terms. Uh, and um, I'll give you an example. This set of congas is tuned to the A minor chord or A minor triad. So I'm gonna break that down and you can look this up online. I'm not gonna give you a whole music theory lesson right here, but I wanna just tell you what I'm doing to produce this result. So the notes in an A minor triad are A, <laughs> C, C natural, and E. So I've got three congas, we got three notes to hit. What you need to do is figure out the natural range of each one of your drums and then you're gonna pick the note of, from the triad that best fits that conga drum's range. Now, as it turns out, this particular set of drums, and this is a standard set of congas, very typical sizes. I'll leave the, the exact sizes in the description, but I've got the, the tumba, the conga, and the quinto. The tumba, if I tune the tumba fairly low, it's right in the E range. So, you know, I could maybe go down to a D, maybe, uh, up to like a G at the higher end. Um, so the E fits really well in this drum. So this drum is tuned to an E and I've shown you how to tune congas. If you don't know how to tune congas, there's lots of videos on that. So that's the E. This drum, the middle drum, uh, is conveniently um, about a fourth up. It likes to be around that G, A, B range. So that's my A over here. And what's nice about that is I've got the, the bottom two drums, the low two drums are a fourth apart. And we've often talked about when you have, a, when you have two drums, uh, you wanna tune them roughly to a fourth. Um, that goes for bongos, goes for timpani, goes for timbales, goes for conga drums. It's just a good starting interval, very common interval. And you get that sort of classic bum, 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 Beethoven, Mozart, Brahms, Handel. All right, now that you've got a handle on that, we've got one note left, which is the C. Um, the C is the, the third of the, the middle note of the, of the chord, A, C, E. But I'm putting it on the top because, again, the size of the drum kind of determines the range and the C conveniently fits up here. Do, do, do. It's going a little sharp. Just give it a whack. You want to lower the pitch. So um, the C's up here, E, A, C, low, medium, high, and that fits with my A minor chord. Do. That's the E. And then the A. Oh, I'm sorry. The A over here. And then the C. Da. Right? 
um, the notes are on the ukulele A minor chord. I could play the drums and play with the Native American style flute. This is an A flute. When we talk about an A flute, it means the low note is an A. So that would be where? Here, right? Uh, the C would be the second note up. And then the E is the third note up. So I can play the A, A minor flute. Over the conga drums. All right, so now you know how to put together a melodic set of conga drums. So you're gonna find a triad or chord tones, three of them, the main chord, not jazz chords, not like a dominant seven chord or major seven chords, just the plain triad. And then you're gonna take those notes, put them right on the conga drums, where they fit the range, right? You're not gonna to try to do A, C, E, because we, can't, we really can't get an A on this drum. Maybe if we crank it up, it would go up to this note. It's gonna get kind of tight. So the closest range to the note you need, uh, find the, the range of your drums. Usually on a set of conga drums like this, the low drum, you're gonna be looking at D, E, F, F sharp, G. The middle drum, you know, maybe to pick that up for F sharp, G, uh, A flat, A, B flat. And then the high drum, B flat, maybe down to A, but so let's say A, B flat, C, uh, C sharp, D maybe getting up to E, but that's gonna get pretty tight. As you can hear, this drum, you know, is not low. This drum's getting on the low side. Um, I've got a, a larger drum I'm gonna pull out one of these days, which is a Valji Super Tumba. It's bigger than this one, it's huge. And I could probably go down even lower and get some uh, really nice bass tones out of that. But for now, since many of you have two or three drums, we're gonna stick with this. All right, so for you patrons, I'm gonna uh, teach you the song that I was singing at the, vine at the beginning of this video, uh, which is called Tambor. It's a traditional Afro-Cuban folk song. Tambor means what? That's right, Jerry. Jerry got it. He's watching, he's paying attention. It means drum. Uh, mi tambor, my drum. Where's my drum? Donde esta mi tambor? It's right here obviously. All right. Hey, I want to thank you guys for watching. This is World Drum Club. If you enjoy the content of the channel, please subscribe, like, hit the bell, and more importantly, show your support like many of you do. And I want to say thank you for joining. We've got a lot of new patrons lately. Patreon.com slash Kalani, where you can, basically it's giving us a little tip for the things that you like uh, monthly, you know, like a cup of coffee. <laughs> Spend, spend a cup of coffee on what you love, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in a future video. Tambor.